today we have with us sir vikramjeet singh his experience speaks for himself if i may interject mujhe sir mat bulao bada bada acha naam hai mera sir sure, vikramjeet i'll call you by your name if that's Please call me vikram sir sure, vikram i'll tell a little bit about his experience first he started his journey with taj hotels and then he moved to lemetry he has a, he climbed stairs for many years and finally became the president of lemetry hotels he was the chairperson for the phd chambers hospitality and tourism committee and now he has taken the role of an entrepreneur building his own hotel chain so please welcome vikram jeet sir thank you brother thank you so much for having me on the show i apologize for calling you sir you have so much experience i just it just comes out naturally i think it's my white beard which makes you call me sir <laughs> no it's actually your experience but i'll call you by your name vikram thank you hmm. so um i would start by entrepreneurship which has become really popular today there are many reasons for it be it the online media which has allowed businesses to erupt be it social media which has allowed marketing to become so popular or be it shows like shark tank entrepreneurship has become really really popular today but i would like to know that you started in 1999 as an entrepreneur what was entrepreneurship back in india at that time the question arises because today if i want a co-founder if i want a team if i want to market my products or even find products i can go online and do that but how did you do things back in 1999 so i'll tell you relatively 99 was much easier because i was only inheriting my father's business which coincidentally was also a hotel business okay uh, after his sudden demise okay. so i was in the founder i was in the starter i was in the innovator i was just main ja ke main ja ke gaddi pe baith gaya simple baat karta hu aapke sath so so back in the back in 1999 i was being spoon fed everything was available on a platter Zee. and uh, it came to me but then life changed um, i had to leave assam uh, i which i did and i came back to delhi uh, when i came back to delhi uh, my ex boss at taj hotels was setting up his own company so i went to meet him i joined him uh, this was 2005 uh, and lemetry happened uh, i stuck on for almost 19 years mm-hmm. i think the whole spirit of entrepreneurship the whole jo ye rutba tha ki jo ye जोश था कि हम अपना कुछ करना है ये मैंने सब वहीं से सीखा विद लेमेंट्री विद लेमेंट्री बिकॉज लेमेंट्री वाज आल्सो अ वेरी ऑन्टरप्रिनोरियल सेटअप व्हेन आई जॉइन इट वाज अ स्टार्टअप इट जस्ट हैड वन ऑपरेटिंग होटल द सेकंड वन इट जस्ट ओपन सो इफेक्टिवली इट वाज अ हंड्रेड रूम कंपनी अ होटल कंपनी विच ओनली एन हंड्रेड ऑपरेटिंग रूम सो फ्रॉम देयर टू टू एक्चुअली वेन आई क्विट द होटल वेंट फ्रॉम लास्ट दिस ईयर यस ये सो इट वेंट फ्रॉम two operating hotels mm-hmm. all the way till 102 operating hotels that was the number of rooms <laughs> so exactly so from the number of rooms it became number of hotels. hotels so that was the journey and i think it was that journey taught me what it takes to be an entrepreneur the mm-hmm. ups the downs the highs the lows and i think uh, it prepared me for this new innings of my life which i'm just starting off now with i would like to talk about your experience before that taj hotels is one of the biggest name in the industry and again you got your first break there and i believe today even today every youngster who looks forward to joining the hospitality industry would want to work there how was that experience working how first of all getting to that opportunity then working at taj and then finally how youngsters today what mindset should they have so that they can get into the industry with such high colors so i am probably a rare exception not many people who done their bcom honors and i was actually uh, when when this taj interview happened i was in my final year at srcc pursuing my bcom honors ji and um, i don't know of too many people who done you know a, a graduation in commerce mm-hmm. and then joined hotel so i'm in that way an exception mm-hmm. i think i was always fascinated because my family business was that of hotels okay and for me the taj opportunity was actually just a just a stop gap arrangement because my idea was to go and do an mba later and okay. just for that i needed the work ex and i said why not do it in hotels mm-hmm. you know why not by chance Totally just, by chance. So okay. Taj by that. So Taj had just launched uh, something called the Graduate Management Training Program, where they were recruiting people not from hotel schools, hmm. but fresh graduates. They wanted to break away from the mold of taking hotel, uh, you know, hotel management students, hmm. uh, and start something new. So this Graduate Management Training Program had just started 
at the Taj. In fact, I was the third batch, okay. uh, and only two batches had gone in before that for this program. Mm. Um, so I applied for that. Uh, on campus interview happened. I got through, and um, like they say, the rest is history. Uh, mm. I never moved out of hotels after that. Mm. So 1996, <laughs> and we are at 2024. 20 years later. And uh, yeah, so 25, 26 years later, I'm still mm. at hotels and I've, mm. I haven't moved out. Mm. I guess that was my destiny. Cool, very cool. Uh, sir, as SRCC, if we talk about SRCC, you have your, done your graduation in the early 90s from there. Uh, sir, today we have many friends and whenever we sit, SRCC is considered as a cool college. Delhi, ka, India, ka, ki wahan par bachche padte hain. Ye same situation thi 90s mein bhi, ya fir abhoj bhaiya. Cool to kabhi nahi tha, sabse padaku college tha yaar, because the cut off so sa hai. Cool, mein lab, okay, <laughs> <man, laughs> hum jaise nerds ke liye it is cool. <laughs> so, us zaman mein bhi tha? Padaku college tha, us zaman mein bhi, us zaman mein bhi cut offs are always relatively the highest. Okay. So, as it is today. Very cool. So, aapne uh, us time pe commerce kyu choose kari thi? I was a commerce student even my Achai, even in my mein. yeah school maybe I, okay. I I did uh, commerce in my 11th and 12th so obviously it was a natural progression to do a BCom honors and obviously everyone aspires to be in SRCC I was lucky I got through so hmm. that was it you you uh, attribute everything to luck right now <laughs> whatever happened <laughs> <laughs> luck, luck plays a very important role in your life and I think luck uh, yeah. luck luck <laughs> 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 luck you luck so, you have been business your father. So, tell me what he was doing. So, my father, uh, along with his elder brother, uh, ran the oldest hotel in Assam. So, we belonged to a place called Jorhat in Assam. Hmm. And uh, this was, of course, the first hotel that Jorhat, uh, that existed in Jorhat. Jorhat is a place? Is a place. Okay. Uh, you know, कई बार ऐसा होता है कि लोग पहचानते भी नहीं जोराट जगह का नाम है कि क्या है <laughs> it sounds like a hotel in itself जोराट so exactly you know जोराट is the name of a place and in okay. fact um, when uh, when my wife decided to marry me and I told her I'm from जोराट she bought an atlas because back in the day it didn't exist तो सी के ये है क्या और सी जगह है ये जगह है क्या <laughs> so, so exactly. So I, I'm not too surprised with your reaction. Uh, People still have that reaction, but that's my birthplace, my hometown, and I'm, mm. and I'm very proud of that. And uh, so uh, parents were there, and uh, we ran the hotel business. So hotel, like I said, was in my blood. Mm. Uh, so hi, father didn't start it. Bilkul. Father and his elder brother. Father and his elder brother. So it was in my blood. Mm. It is something I've done and I've seen right from the day I was born practically. Mm. <clears throat> So that, that's my origin and that's uh, the connection with Assam. That's the connection with hotels more importantly because mm. uh, hotels uh, from that day till today is is uh, is my identity, uh, is what I do. I would like to go back to the lemon tree journey. You started as an assistant manager right? yeah. and then you climbed to be the president of the hotel. That's a steep climb. Not everybody gets to that position. Let's just say I got this time not lucky but extremely lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Again to the luck. But sir, then everyone will aspire to become the president of a hotel chain as big as Lemon Tree. But sir, what did you do? What did you do when you were 21-22 years old? I am assuming that you will be a little bit with big dreams. <laughs> हां एंड देयर काली दाढ़ी या मोटा सा हो और सफेद दाढ़ी हो गई है तो मुझे तो कमेंट नहीं करा एनीवेज सर क्या माइंडसेट था उस वक्त कि हैड यू एस्पायर्ड टू बी दैट टू बी द प्रेसिडेंट एंड लीव लाइक इन योर करियर टू रीच वेयर यू आर सी आई विल टेल यू इट ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन योर एटीट्यूड एंड आई विल टेल यू व्हेन आई हैड मूव्ड बैक फ्रॉम असम uh, I talk about it. Yeah, 1999 is when I went back to Assam mm -hmm. and I uh, moved back to Delhi in 2005. Okay. So, six years were And uh, I'm, I'm telling you something which is very personal. I have not shared with a lot of people, but there were a lot of my peers in the hotel industry, people who had joined with me, people who were probably, uh, you know, my my colleagues, my, my my juniors. So, in the six years that I was out of the industry, so to say, out of an active job because mm -hmm. I was doing my own business, a lot of people who were actually, uh, you know, in, in, in many ways professionally junior to me or professionally had actually shot ahead, mm -hmm. gone ahead because unko ek che saal ka wo gap mil gaya tha, mm -hmm. or che saal ka ek lead mil gaya tha because they were obviously in the profession for the last six years. I had lost out on six years. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of people had actually moved ahead of me professionally. And I would not say that 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 I would not say
केम एज एन इंस्पिरेशन मोटिवेशन बना एक मोटिवेशन बना के यार ये लोग मुझसे आगे निकल गए आई हैव टू डू अ कैच अप and i just i think that is what motivated me that is what was my driver my mm. biggest driver okay i have to catch up mm. he was my peer today he is two two three four levels Seriously. ahead of me mm. uh in whichever hotel company i'm not saying they were specifically in lemon tree they were in different companies but in the mm. same industry wo unko 6 saal ka kick start mil gaya unko 6 saal ka wo gap mil gaya mere ko i was i i lost out on 6 years yeah exactly so i was in a tearing hurry to catch up for those 6 years to mm. catch up for what i lost to make up for what i Uh, could have done in those six years. Hmm. So I was a man in a hurry, hmm. and I think that is that is what worked for me. The hmm. fact that I was a man in a hurry, the fact that I was determined to catch up, hmm. the fact that I wanted to do at you know at par if not better, I wanted to excel. I wanted to get ahead of all of them. So maybe I had this super competitive streak in me. Yeah, acha ya bura, I don't know. It is. You have said that you were six years in industry, but you were running your own business. I would not say. Out of the formal industry, in terms of the job hierarchy, let me put it that way. I was very much in the industry. I was running my. By the way, let me tell you, I was running my own business. 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 I was running my own fending for yourself um, with nobody on over you because i told you i took over my father had passed away mm. so there wasn't a guardian over me i had to learn everything mm. i had to learn the nuances of the business more than the just the the trade then you had to learn more than just your job i had to learn more than my job so what i learned there by the way was was um, phenomenal and mm. i think i would attribute my success to lemontry uh, to that 6 uh, years of being an entrepreneur mm. because I had I had done which nobody else had. Everybody had, you know, a, a formal job uh, experience to back upon. Mm-hmm. I had something different, and I think that really, really, really helped me uh, in my 19 years at Lemon Tree Hotels. इस वक्त पूरी दुनिया में there's a form of recession going on. It is impacting India not that much, but still India में भी उसका impact हो रहा है. Economy is slowing down. In a, your recent interview, you said that this is the best time to join the hospitality industry. So sir. दोनों कंट्रास्ट है कि पूरी वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमी स्लो चल रही है एंड यू आर सेइंग दैट इट्स द बेस्ट टाइम सो व्हाट्स द व्हाट्स दैट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन बॉस हिंदुस्तान की आबादी कितनी लेट मी आस्क यू 1.4 बिलियन 140 करोड़ लोग हैं सी कैन आई गिव यू अनदर स्टार्टलिंग फिगर आप हिल जाओगे द ब्रांडेड सप्लाई ऑफ रूम्स फ्रॉम अ जीरो स्टार टू अ सेवन स्टार मतलब फ्रॉम ब्रांडेड आई एम सेइंग नॉट अनब्रांडेड इज लेस देन 2 लाख रूम्स 140 करोड़ की आबादी और 2 लाख कमरे ऐसा डिमांड सप्लाई मिसमैच मैंने दुनिया में कहीं नहीं देखा मैंने किसी इंडस्ट्री में नहीं देखा एंड देर फोर आई थिंक इंडिया कैन टेक टेन टाइम्स मोर ब्रांडेड रूम देन इट इज टूडे ब्रांडेड रूम्स का मतलब होता है कि रूम्स विच आर बेसिकली क्लासिफाइड एंड सर्टिफाइड ओके सो आई वुड बेसिकली यू वुड नॉट इंक्लूड गेस्ट हाउसेज यू वुड नॉट इंक्लूड अनलाइसेंस सेमी लाइसेंसड These are proper licensed okay. legal branded hotels cool. and classified too. Hmm. So the total branded inventory across brands hmm. from zero star to seven star, whatever classification you may use, from economy to upscale to luxury hmm. to super luxury, is only two lakhs, less than two lakh rooms. Hmm. So I'm understanding, boss. One hundred and forty crore ke baadi or two lakh kamre. Disproportional. Itna zada disproportional ki agle paan chhe saath saal tak agar har saal bhi. You know, inventory hmm. aati rahi, aur hmm. dawa ki aati rahi. Halaki, if you read all industry reports, everyone is saying that the compounded annual growth rate of inventory will not be more than five to six percent. Okay. So, yani ki ab kya kare boss? Ki ab two lakh kamre, five percent yar. Matlab ten thousand kamre ab add karoge. Me kya hoon? Ten percent bhi karlo. You only have twenty thousand rooms. Hmm. The problem is that India will still be the most under uh, serviced hotel market in the world hmm. because in terms of branded supply because 140 करोड़ के बाद ही दो लाख कमरे मतलब डिमांड सप्लाई मिसमैच जिंदगी में मैंने कहीं नहीं देखा ऐसा सो देयर फॉर व्हाई नॉट डू होटल्स देयर इज नो बेटर प्लेस टू बी सो सो द बेस्ट इस वक्त जो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट होगा वो एंटरप्रेन्योर्स इट्स द इंडस्ट्री डायनामिक्स बॉस द इंडस्ट्री डायनामिक्स आई मीन द डिमांड सप्लाई मिसमैच एंड एंड आई गिव यू नंबर्स फॉर इट दैट इज व्हाई आई थिंक इट इज द बेस्ट टाइम टू बी इन होटल्स इन इंडिया तो so, सबसे जो प्राइम इसमें जॉब रहेगी बेसिकली एंटरप्रेन्योर की रहेगी टू स्टैब्लिश होटल्स नॉट जस्ट एंटरप्रेन्योर्स इवन एग्जिस्टिंग होटल कंपनीज आई थिंक एवरीवन विल बी एडिंग होटल्स एवरीवन विल बी एडिंग इन्वेंटरी बट व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज दैट इवन इफ एवरीवन एड्स इन्वेंटरी 
इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव टू सिक्स ईयर्स तब भी वो डिमांड मीट नहीं होगी और अगले पांच से छह साल तक ये डिस्प्रोपोर्शनेट डिमांड सप्लाई इक्वेशन रहेगा ही रहेगा अगर हम इन्हीं इसी चीज की बात कर रहे हैं टू इंक्रीज इन विंटो आंटरप्रनर्स की हरेका इंडस्ट्री होटल्स की स्पेशली अगर हम बात करें वहां पर सबसे चैलेंजेस क्या है कि किसी आंटरप्रनर अगर कोई अपना स्टार्ट करना चाहता है तो उसको क्या उसकी जर्नी रहेगी एंड उसको क्या क्या चैलेंजेस फेस करने पड़ेंगे देखो होटल इंडस्ट्री में एंड दीज आर वॉट आई वुड लाइक टू एडवाइज बडिंग ऑन आई एम वन माई सेल्फ सो आई एम नो वन टू एडवाइज बट वट एवर लिटल वट एवर लिटल पर्स ऑफ विजडम आई कैन गिव आई विद सी देखो हमारी इंडस्ट्री में आपको तीन चीजें चाहिए फर्स्टली यू नीड ऑपरेशन टू डू ऑपरेशन यू नीड पीपल ठीक है मैन पावर मैन पावर सो वन इज द चैलेंज टू गेट एंड चैलेंज टू अट्रैक्ट टैलेंट ठीक है बॉस यू नीड पीपल टू रन होटल इट्स अ पीपल्स बिजनेस यू नीड पीपल सो वन इज लोग यू हैव टू बी एबल टू अट्रैक्ट टैलेंट एंड द राइट टैलेंट टू रन योर बिजनेस करेक्ट सेकेंड इज योर कॉस्ट स्ट्रक्चर ठीक है बिकॉज यू नो रेवेन्यू इज नॉट इन योर हैंड्स और टू सम एक्सटेंट इज नॉट इन इट इज इन योर हैंड्स इट्स नॉट कंप्लीटली नॉट इन योर हैंड्स बट टू सम एक्सटेंट it is market driven external forces driven mm. it is driven by multiple factors which are some are in your control some are beyond your control mm. but cost is completely in your hand so you should have the best cost structure in the mm. hotel business for to be successful because see the hotel business is a very high fixed cost business ek baar apne kharche pal liye na boss to business hai nahi hai customer hai nahi hai guest aapke room mein reh raha hai nahi reh raha hai a large part of your cost is no large part of your cost is a fixed cost mm. so you have to pay the bills mm. so your cost structure try and variableize as much as you can hmm variableize kaise in the sense ke aap manpower bhi dekh lo aap you, you know you should have a ratio ke up to x percentage of my cost i'll keep fixed hmm uske baad jahan tak ho sake i'll try and keep it okay. variable so whether it is getting manpower to uh, or for banquet functions hmm whether it is outsourcing uh, a lot of your departments where you don't need skilled manpower you you know hmm. uh, so that you know you can actually taper it as per demand hmm or you can you know tweak it as per demand so one is of course manpower uh, which is your which is the largest cost in the hotel business okay so you got to be very careful of how you keep your manpower mm. so you'll have to consider seasonality exactly events, seasonality tourism. events tourism and you can tweak your manpower ratios accordingly by the mm. way if you're running a resort you know you can make sure that uh, in your off season you don't hire people you don't replace attrition mm. Mm-hmm. you only you stop replacing attrition when your season's coming to an end and you only start hiring towards the end of your off season by the mm-hmm. example mm-hmm. so you got to make sure that you keep your cost under check which is mm-hmm. the most important part of our business mm-hmm. because like i said cost is completely in your hands mm-hmm. the revenue is partly in your hands partly mm-hmm. it is in the hands of uh, the environment around you is mm-hmm. the hand market competition market mix market forces so many things and the third is the most important part which is distribution revenue अगर आप अपने होटल में धंधा नहीं ला सकते ना बस तो फिर आपका बिजनेस किसी काम का नहीं है सो यू शुड नो हाउ टू ड्राइव बिजनेस टू योर होटल एंड व्हेन आई से बिजनेस आई मीन इफ यू आर इन द रेस्ट ऑफ बिजनेस इट्स योर कस्टमर्स इट्स योर फुटफॉल इट्स योर कवर्स इन द होटल बिजनेस इज हाउ यू फिल अप योर रूम्स सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू फोकस ऑन रेवेन्यू एंड यू हैव द राइट मेट्रिक्स टू मेजर द रेवेन्यू यू हैव द राइट सेगमेंट्स वर्किंग फॉर यू यू हैव द राइट पीपल हु रिप्रेजेंट योर ब्रांड व्हेन दे गॉट इन द मार्केट सो रेवेन्यू इन योर इफ यू आस्क मी इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लीवर कॉस्ट भी आप मैनेज कर लोगे ठीक है यू अट्रैक्ट टैलेंट ऑल्सो ऑल द टैलेंट टूडे इज बिकमिंग मोर एंड मोर डिफिकल्ट बट चलो बट अगर आपके पास बिजनेस नहीं है तो आप क्या कॉस्ट कंट्रोल करोगे और आप जो आपके पास मैन पावर उनको क्या सैलरी दोगे सो इन माई व्यू आउट ऑफ द थ्री रेवेन्यू प्लेज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रोल एंड दैट इज द डिफ्रेंशिएटर बिटवीन यू नो अ विनर एंड अ लूजर यू गेट योर यू गेट योर ऑक्यूपेंसी राइट एट द राइट प्राइस एट द राइट एवरेज रेट नो वन कैन स्टॉप यू लाइक पीपल से रेवेन्यू इज द आंसर टू एवरी प्रॉब्लम यू नेवर हैव अ प्रॉब्लम बिल्कुल I I would like to question you about this. The at the right, you said at the right price. cost, right, right price. I said if get the right occupancy at the right average. Average rate. price, average price. I would like to know that hotels, ah, uh, one season me. If hmm. we talk about like a particular day, hmm. they'll give uh, one room hmm. to a particular guest at a different rate, and uh, to a different guest at a different rate. Absolutely. So, ये किस basis पे होता है और इट्स लाइक एन एयरलाइन बॉस आप दिल्ली मुंबई बॉम्बे की टिकट लो. Hmm. अब आज टिकट ले रहे हो अगले महीने के लिए. You get a different price. अगर कोई अगर एक दिन पहले लोग डिफरेंट प्राइस सो इट्स इट्स डायनेमिक प्राइसिंग अगेन डिमांड एंड सप्लाई डायनेमिक प्राइसिंग डिमांड सप्लाई एग्जैक्टली लाइक द वे द एयरलाइंस डू इट ओके एंड आई थिंक होटल्स हैव मैच्योर्ड टू दिस 
dynamic pricing much later than the airlines. The airlines have been doing it for a much longer time. You have worked for a hotel chain which huh. has more than 100 uh, hotels. Uh, you have your own coming up, hotel coming up. Uh, you have worked at Taj. You have had your own hotel back in 1999 to 2005. What would you say makes a hotel unique? Mm-hmm. Like how would a hotel become unique in its area that people come to that only hotel? See, rather than answering it for one hotel, I would say I would answer it more from a brand perspective. Hmm. Okay, what is the problem that your brand is solving? Hmm. What is the solution that you're providing which nobody else has provided? So hmm. let me give you a classic example of Lemon Tree. Hmm. Lemon Tree was in many ways the category creator for mid-market hotels in India. Before Lemon Tree came about 22, 23 years ago, there wasn't a single standardized hotel company in the mid-market. You had the in the lovely mid-range. in the mid market, okay. yeah. You had in the mid priced hotel mm-hmm. sector. You had lovely hotels in the luxury segment. You mm-hmm. had the Taj, the Obroy, the ITC. But if you have a level of niche, the mid market is called the mid market. There was no standardized chain, there was okay. no brand. Mm-hmm. So, Lemon Tree solved a problem. The mm-hmm. problem was that there were no mid market hotels in India, mm-hmm. or there was no standardized mid market hotel chain in India. Mm-hmm. So you are solving a solution, you are providing a solution to a problem. Hmm. You are solving an a, a, a yes. issue. Hmm. You are solving something. So every brand has to solve something. Hmm. Uh, whether it is hotels, whether it is in any spectrum. You know, Correct. the brands which actually address and solve a problem are the ones which hmm. succeed in the longer run. Hmm. That's the fundamental of entrepreneurship. If you solve problem, solve karo ge, to paisa chal ga ga. Absolutely. Like, let me give you a classic example. Budget airlines, economy. Hmm. To, uh, you know, uh, the category creator was, by the way, not Indigo or SpiceJet. It was Air Deccan. Hmm. Air Deccan created yes. a space. Yes. Air, I mean, they saw the vacuum. They saw a gap. The movie is just fake. Bilkul, movie bhi hai, and he was the category creator. Zee. So that's one part of the... Uh, so as a brand, one is, of course, that you address a problem. You address a gap. Hmm. Okay. The gap was in Lemon Tree's case, mid-market hotels didn't exist in India. Hmm. In the case of Deccan, budget airlines didn't exist in India. Hmm. Airline uh, travel was only for this, the, the, the super rich, so hmm. to say, back in the day. Hmm. So that's one part of it. The other part of it is that either you solve a problem, or you don't problem nahi solve kar If you're in an industry where players already exist, then you have to be the best in execution. Hmm. Which in many ways, uh, my role model in many ways is in Indigo Airline. Okay. Indigo has shown an execution, uh, you know, their execution capability is mind boggling. They are now one of the top six or seven airlines in the world. Mm. They have 60 plus percent market share. Mm. So while they did not create the budget airline category in India, they did, they executed, the execution of Indigo was the finest and the best. Mm. So you have gap address, karte ho, category create, karte ho, ya us category mein execution focus and you do the best execution. Mm. So you've got to do one of the two. There are some hotels in Rajasthan which charge around la- in lakhs. So what is special special? What will you get for a night for 30 lakhs? For example, Jaipur is a hotel. Hai. Jaipur or maybe in Jodhpur, somewhere in that region. It costs about 30 lakhs for a night. See, so, that's an exception. Uh, that's one suite, whatever it has. Hmm. But Luxury hotels, let me tell you today, hmm. and you know, it's it's actually quite contrary to your question. I think luxury hotels in India hmm. are today the most underpriced. Underpriced? Most underpriced. If you have a similar hotel anywhere in the world, you'll hmm. be paying three times the price. Okay. Ek, ek Taj Obroy's ke ab agar results check karo, to what they're reporting ERRs which are, you know, portfolio ERRs which are under 20,000. Yeah. Hmm. So, what does explain the ERR term? So, agar, see, all listed companies have, uh, they report their quarterly numbers. Ji. So, if I remember correctly, both Taj and Oberoi's, hmm. when you, if you look at the quarter three results of Taj and Oberoi hotels, hmm. the average rates, the ARR, so both these companies are between, hmm. between 15 to 20,000. Yeah? Okay. 20,000 means, boss, 300 dollars in anyway. Yes. Oberoi is a hotel, you will get 300 dollars in the world. Okay, so the quality is very good, but the pricing is Taan, low. Exactly. What I am saying is that, in India, there are 5-star hotels, 5-star deluxe hotels, luxury hotels. If you go out, you will get a mid-market hotel in the mid-market economy. I am saying hotels in India are still underpriced. I think there is an ability and there is an opportunity to go even further because the kind of quality, the service that you provide in India hmm. to get similar service in India, uh, anywhere in the world, in the developed world, in Europe, in the US, hmm. you will have to pay $1,000. If you pay $1,000, you will get $1,000. 
So India was both underpriced to us. Alright, that would be a revelation to me. I'm telling you. <laughs> Next, I would like to go towards your current project, Aliva. So, पहले तो ये बताइए कि सुनने में ही नाम लग्जरी लग रहा है। तो <laughs> <So, laughs> नाम के पीछे क्या स्टोरी है? And again, I would like to go back to Lemon Tree कि वहाँ से आपने कैसे डिसाइड करा किस पॉइंट पे लगा? Now I want to do my own venture. See, I I told you why I want to do my own venture. See, it was a the entrepreneurial spirit which came to me. Surely by working in Lemon Tree and seeing Lemon Tree grow and expand and get to where it is today. Mm. Um, as far as the name Aliva is concerned, Aliva means new beginnings. So, new beginnings. So it was. It is in a new beginning. In which language? In New Zealand. In New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, it is a new beginning for me. Mm. And um, so, I said, "What is the best name?" Correct. And how is it going? What project? What level? Pe so uh, we are launching. We project. are launching our first hotel in Gurgaon mm-hmm. uh, very shortly. Uh, it's a 144 room hotel mm-hmm. uh, on the Sona, main Sona Road in the very very dense uh, co- catchment area, surrounded by corporates. Uh, it's a great location, and I think the hotel Touchwood should do very well. Baki upper wale ke hath mein, but um, we we'll, we are quite confident that that hotel uh, when we launch it uh, in a few weeks. Um, should do very well. Cool. So that's the first project, and we are looking at expanding to uh, other parts of India. We are looking at so the target is to do five hotels in the first one year. Okay. And uh, fif- until two thousand twenty-five. Yeah. So, okay. pehle saal mein panch aur uh, panch saal mein pachas. Panch saal mein pachas. We are one target. That's ambitious. <laughs> let's see. Let's uh-huh. aim for the. Let's aim for the sky, uh, sky at the moon and see what happens. Uh, and you have done it in the past, so I so, guess it will happen, inshallah. In one year, five, in five years, five years. Cool, sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, tell us some stories that you have encountered of hmm. people in the hotel, guests related, some unique stories that you have got. Yes, yeah, stories, Sir, I'll tell you, let me share some interesting learnings, you know. Sure. You know, everyone says that, what do they say, that guest is God. Yes, Bhagawan. Huh. But I'll tell you, guest is definitely God. But we should also make sure that you know when you serve a guest, it should be a profitable business for you. कई बार क्या होता है मैंने देखा हमारे business में कि we tend to give much more than what the guest is paying for. Hmm. And I think in my view, it doesn't make great economic sense. Hmm. So while you you know we are all in the business of serving people, but we should also do it in such a way that it's profitable. Hmm. And I feel and I see this is a big gap in our industry that. Sometimes people take their eyes off profitability. The commercial aspect of doing business is is really important. And in the hotel business, I see that a lot of people don't look at decisions commercially. Hmm. They they think more from the heart than from the brain. Kai baar kya hota hai ki you know you tend to give away too much. Whether it's uh, you know a sales piece person in his eagerness to crack a corporate account up, aise rate de the, aise inclusion de the, okay, it it may not be profitable for you to get business from that company. Similarly, at the shop floor, you tend to give away too much because the guest may be paying you X, but you know, you are giving him 2X. Hmm. Breakfast is free, diya, happy hours is free, diya, airport transfer is free, diya, you have given him free ek dinner. Bhi saath de diya. So, I am saying, my advice to hoteliers is that whatever decision you take on the shop floor hmm. in your business, please examine it commercially. Hmm. Be very astute uh, with numbers and your in your profitability uh, calculations before you start committing and giving away things to customers. Hmm. That is my one learning which I think people tend to forget. People don't look at business that way. So it's very similar to job in luxury hotels. के बारे में कहा था कि we provide at a very low cost compared to uh, the western market. So ये Indian phenomenon है कि हम ज़्यादा दे रहे हैं? नहीं, I wouldn't say ज़्यादा दे रहे हैं या कम दे रहे हैं. All I'm saying is that. Relative to the rest of the world, hmm. luxury hotels in India are the cheapest. Hmm. Uh, similar service, similar hotels in the rest of the world, in the Western world, will be three times the price. Hmm. So basically, come price pe value for money बहुत ज़्यादा है यहाँ पे. बहुत ज़्यादा है. बहुत ज़्यादा है. That's why tourists love India. Exactly for Especially them. Especially Western tourists. For them, this is a great. It's it's greatly priced. Hmm. Phenomenal service, great products, hmm. a lot of history in India. So. So hmm. that's why the world should come to India. Hmm. Basically, with Aliva, we are trying to do something which. Um, so we want to create India's most profitable hotels. We will. We are trying and we are aspiring to have the best cost structure, which I spoke about earlier. Hmm. Also, uh, we are also trying to do something unique, which uh, very few people have attempted to in India, and I think nobody really done it very successfully. So, in in Aliva Gurgaon, what we've done is that we've outsourced the entire food and beverage. Okay. It's been outsourced to a very reputable company called Moonshine. 
which is a joint venture with a two time michelin star chef called atul kochar Mm-hmm. It's a joint venture with a, a serial restaurant called Vishal Anand, mm-hmm. and this is um, his. Ven- uh, we, so they will be running the entire food and beverage operations for Aliva Gurgaon, uh, the restaurant, the room service, uh, the conference facility, everything. Anything to do with food and beverage will be run by mm-hmm. by this company, where uh, uh, you know uh, with Moonshine with Moonshine. So industry me standard ye hai ki hotel me hi hota hai. So why did you outsource this? So hotel me hi hai. But it's being run by an outsourced company. Okay. And again, I told you what the company is all about. It's a very reputed company. It's got the name of Chef Atul Kochar, who's a two-time Michelin star chef. But I'll tell you the logic behind it. Hmm. The hotel business has two parts. There's the there is the room business and there is the food and beverage business. If I look at the room business in isolation, the margins are seventy eighty percent. If we sell a room for ten thousand rupees, the variable cost of that room will be five hundred rupees or six hundred rupees. Even if I look at all the cost associated with running the room division, the room division alone, the net margins are upwards of seventy seventy five percent. Okay. जो बहुत हाई है जो बहुत हाई है अगर मैं एंड आई एम मेकिंग अ वेरी यू नो आई एम मेकिंग अ स्टेटमेंट हियर बट इफ होटल्स वर टू डाइसेक्ट द फूड एंड बेवरेज पीएनएल एंड नॉट लुक एट इट इन टोटलिटी बट लुक एट इट इन आइसोलेशन अगर हर होटल अपने हर एफएनबी आउटलेट का अगर पीएनएल उठा के देखेगा माय गेस इज इट कुड बी नेगेटिव ओके दे कुड नॉट बी मेकिंग सेपरेट मतलब बाकी होटल्स से सेपरेट जस्ट एफएनबी आउटलेट्स के इंडिविजुअल पीएनएल्स ओके लाइक ये मेरा आउटलेट है यहाँ मेरे इतने खर्चे हैं यहाँ मेरी इतनी कमाई है इस आउटलेट से मैं पैसे कमाता हूँ कि नहीं एंड देन पुट इन द रियल एस्टेट कॉस्ट इज वेल बिकॉज इट इज वेरी वेरी प्राइम रियल एस्टेट इन माय व्यू द पी एन एल फॉर फूड एंड बेवरेज आउटलेट्स इन होटल्स विल आई दर बी नेगेटिव और दे विल बी वेर इन द लो टीन्स मैक्सिमम इन द लो टीन्स सो द माइंड सेट टू रन अ बिजनेस विद वेरी हाई मार्जिन वर्सेज द माइंड सेट टू रन बिजनेस विद विथ लो मार्जिन आर वेरी डिफरेंट सो वाई वुड इट बी सो लो Because food and beverage, see today I'll tell you what's happened. Food and beverage has moved out of hotels to standalones. Okay. अगर आप देखेंगे पिछले पांच से दस साल में दस साल बोल रहा हूँ. No great food and beverage uh, concept, no great food and beverage uh, restaurant outlet uh, has come from a hotel. They've all come from. अब जितने बढ़िया restaurants की बात करेंगे, they've all been created by standalone restauranters. किसी होटल से नहीं आया. एक जमाना था जब बुखारा House of Ming. These were legendary outlets which came from five-star hotels. Hmm. In the last ten years, the trend has changed. Okay. Food and beverage today has moved out of hotels to standalones. They do a far better job. Hmm. They have more creativity. They are able to attract much better talent. Hmm. So therefore, I think it is a job of the specialists, and therefore it's best to get a specialist okay. to do it. So, so that was my logic behind outsourcing okay. my entire food and beverage. डिपार्टमेंट सो टू से ओके सो इफ आई एम अज्यूमिंग जो मेरा अंडरस्टैंडिंग है कि uh, अगर वो रेस्टोरेंट होटल का पार्ट है सो उस पर हंड्रेड परसेंट फोकस नहीं जा पा रहा है सो इट्स नॉट एबल टू परफॉर्म वेल एंड नॉट अर्न वेल बस आपके पास यू नो आप लेट मी लेट मी पुट इट डिफरेंटली आपके पास दो बिजनेस है एक बिजनेस में आप सौ रुपए डालते हो तो आपको अस्सी रुपए मिलते हैं एक बिजनेस में आप सौ रुपए डालते हो आपको दस रुपए मिलते हैं आप कहाँ फोकस करोगे ऑब्वियसली एटी वाले पे तो so, जो दस वाला है वो किसी और को दे दो यार hmm. वो उसमें से कम से कम तीस चालीस तो निकालेगा सही बात है और जो आपको दस मिल रहा था वो आपको वैसे ही दे देगा एज एवरी शेयर सो वाई यू वाई डू यू वॉन्ट टू डू दैट एंड बेटर देन यू वो जॉब भी बेटर डन होगी पैसा भी ज्यादा एंड बिकॉज इज रनिंग टेन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी रेस्टोरेंट हिज अबिलिटी टू गेट द राइट टैलेंट विल बी मच बेटर देन यूर ऑब्वियसली एंड लोअर कॉस्ट भी होगी जब वो बल्क में करेगा दैट्स वेरी गुड सो यू आर वन ऑफ दी फ्यू जो ये कर रहे हैं इंडस्ट्री में I'm attempting to do it. Okay. Few people have tried to do it before, but the mm. general norm is that people try and do it themselves. So I'm trying to get away and break the norm. Mm. So that's what's happening in Alvia. Yeah. Alvia. Absolutely. Mm. Cool. It was a great time talking. Thank you, Ji. Vikram Ji. Mm. <laughs> I'll end by not calling you sir, but I had a great time. I learned a lot, and thanks for coming to the Mutal Ji's podcast. And hopefully, we can do much more such episodes. Always. Uh, thank you for having me over. Mm. I really enjoyed the interaction. Thank you. Thanks.